Hey, hey, hey! We're at the very end. You made it this far, which means you're very excited to finish this baby up. You basically learned everything you needed to learn for making your own augmented reality app. In the first video, we had an overview. It was a sort of teaser trailer to kind of entice us into what we were going to build. In the second video, we learned about version control, which is very important in order to have a smooth app creation process. In the third video, we talked about design and some basic tips and tricks and hacks on how to design anything, really. But we use it, obviously, for this augmented reality app. In the fourth video, we created our first prototype using, the, using Unity's basic building blocks to uh, create something that would deploy on the phone, something that would basically just exist as a first version of our game. In the fifth video, we did some 3D modeling with Blender so that we could actually add a little bit more spice into our game, not use basic shapes, create our own character. So you, so you learned a little bit of Blender. And now, in this final video, we're going to import what we made in Blender, we're going to add some embellishments to make it more immersive, and we're going to deploy this onto the phone as a final product. And at this point, after this video, you'll be ready to make almost anything. So let's play. Whoa, 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 whoa. I forget something very, very important to say. Uh, if you like what you see, make sure you like. Um, if you want to help the algorithm, make sure you comment. And if you really, 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 really like what you see, make sure to subscribe. But no big deal if you don't. But anyways, let's play. Okay, so let's jump back in into Unity. Uh, let's create a new folder and we'll call this models. And here we'll import the models that we just created. So why don't you just go and drag and drop the baby bird FBX file that we just created. I'm dragging it from a different screen here. Um, and then let's drag and drop the mama bird FBX here. Okay, great. So now let's go in here. Okay, so let's jump right back in into Unity and let's open up a new folder. We'll call this models. And we'll just go ahead and drag the models we just made. So baby bird, drag and dropping from a different window and mama bird. So we're gonna to wanna to turn these into prefabs. So let's go ahead and drag them into the editor. Let's click on mama bird and let's start adding the components that we're missing. So first let's add the mama bird tag. Next, let's add a rigid body. The rigid body we had here, I believe 0.2. Uh, let's remove gravity. Let's add another component, the mama bird script. And here we can change this to 0.25 and one. Next, let's go into the baby bird. And let's do the same thing. Let's add the rigid body component. Um, here it was 0.42, I think, or 4.5, was it? Well, let's just do 4.5. And then let's do uh, the baby bird script. And here we had 0.4, and I think we changed this to 1.2. Okay, I think we're good to go. So now we can go into the prefabs folder and just drag these uh, down. Original prefab, and drag this one down. Original prefab. And now uh, we can go to the content manager and we can just replace these with the new models that we have. Uh, now we can delete these. We don't need them anymore. And now we can hit launch. And now everything should work as it did before, but not with the models that we created. Beautiful. Oh, <laughs> we forgot to remove gravity from our baby bird. So let's go into the prefab and remove the gravity from the rigid body component. And now let's hit play again. And now let's shoot a couple of these bad boys out and let's shoot the baby birds. There we go. So now these are a little, a little too large for uh, my liking. So why don't we go ahead and reduce the size of the baby bird. Let's go over here and we can change the scale to 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. And then for the mom bird, why don't we change the scale to something like 0 0.5. 5, 0 0.5. Now the physics might change a little bit and it actually might be more favorable because they're moving a little slow and that they're smaller, they might move faster. So let's see what happens now. Okay. Yep, now they're getting launched a little bit faster. 
And now we can send these baby birds off into mama. And they're each going for a different mama, I believe. Yep. Okay, great. So now what we've been able to create here has been a working prototype and we moved it into uh, the models that we created. So we have a mama bird that goes up. We have baby birds that gravitates towards mama bird. And now the last thing that we need to do is we need to add the embellishments to start making this look a little bit more dynamic and a little bit more fun. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna add some fog and we're gonna add a particle system to the mama bird and the baby birds to create the sort of trail as they move off into the distance. And so that's what we're gonna do right now. Okay, great. So now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna add a particle system. We're gonna create a fog and where is the particle system? Effects particle system. And why don't we center this at zero? So it just makes life easier. We can just go over here, get a little bit closer. And the way I'm doing this is I'm right clicking and then I'm moving with the WASD keys to kind of do this uh, free flying motion. Okay, great. Uh, let's change this to fog particle system. Okay, and then we're gonna set the start lifetime, uh, keep it that to five, and then the start speed hit up to zero. So that kind of just doesn't start moving. That little speed kind of just moves it in some direction. We don't want that. Um, next, we're gonna go to shape and we're gonna turn this into a box. We wanna kind of have it cover a 3D space. And how about we do something like this? Maybe this is a little bit too much, maybe. Uh, no, we don't need that much. Something like this. Okay, let's go to mission, make sure everything's good. Okay, uh, that's gonna be right over time. And I think that that's all we need to do. Now, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna uh, add a, a texture, but before we do that, why don't we go into color over lifetime and we want it to kind of fade a little bit. So why don't we open that up? Let's uh, activate that. Oh, let's activate that. And let's open this up by clicking on it. Uh, come on. Oh, and went to the wrong, wrong screen. Let's fix that up. Okay, wow. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna create a new marker here. I wanna keep that as is. We're gonna take this marker, and we're gonna move the alpha all the way down. And we're gonna go to the last marker here, and we're gonna move all the way down as well. So there's like a nice little gradient between these two. You can start seeing it's starting to look a little bit more fog-like. Um, maybe the space is a little bit too large. So let's go back into the shape, and let's change this to three, three, two. This is probably good enough. Okay. So let's go down to the renderer and let's change the start size to 0.4 and the max particle size to 10. So now, although it doesn't look very good in the editor, we start seeing what it might look like on the screen and we just want something kind of subtle happening. We don't want it to be too intense. So we're actually going to change uh, this to uh, this material to be a, a texture that we get from online. So why don't we go do that right now? Let's go open up Chrome and let's search for Smoke Sprite Sheet. And you can choose any of these. Uh, each of them will take a little bit of adjustment, but I did find one before that I did like, so I think it was like this one. Okay, yeah, great. So this is super awesome stuff. So let's click on this one. I haven't tried this one before. Uh, and why don't we drag this? Why don't we just, uh, let's keep that just in case we might need it. So why don't we drag that texture into our textures. As you can see, I've already tested a couple before in the past. And let's wait for that to load. And what we're gonna need to do is we're actually gonna have to create a new material. So actually, I shouldn't have moved this here, but I'll just, I'm gonna create a new material. I'm gonna call this like fog mat. And we're gonna pass 
this texture here so we can use it as a material. I'm gonna actually change the setting, the shader to sprites and we're just gonna change it to the default. And actually we're gonna to wanna to move this into the materials to keep things organized. Okay, oh, I messed up. There we go, let's move this here. Okay, so let's go back to the particle system. We're gonna go all the way to the render and we're gonna select the fog that we just made. Fog, there we go. So now it's looking a little funky, but we're about to fix that. So we're gonna go and do a little cheat that people in the sprite world like to do all the time, which is texture sheet of animation. We're gonna hit that check mark and we're gonna go and figure out the size of this grid. Four, four, five, five, six, six, nine, seven, seven. There we go. Some of these have different uh, tile sizes, uh, and so we just have to like kind of play around with it to figure it out. Otherwise, we we would import it into some image editor and figure it out ourselves. Okay, so this looks good. What we might want to do is actually make this effect a little more subtle. So we can go into the start color and actually just move this down a little bit to the gray and actually bring down this alpha just a bit more. And that just makes it a little bit more subtle. Uh, we don't want the, the, the phone screen to become obnoxiously annoying. Okay. Here we go. I think that's probably good. You can barely notice it here, but we don't want it to be too much. It's just a little embellishment to just make things pop out more in our scene. Okay, let's hit save. Okay, so for this next uh, particle systems, what's gonna be the trail of our baby bird. Uh, shout out to Abhinav aka Demkeys for the original uh, tutorial on this that I learned a lot from. So let's go here and let's add a new particle system. We're gonna call this baby bird trail. And just to make things clear, let's just uh, remove that for now and focus on this one. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna take uh, the start speed to zero as well. Make the start size small. Maybe something like 0 0.01. We're gonna go here to the emission and we're gonna change this uh, from over time to uh, over distance. So that means that the particles are gonna be generated as, as our object moves rather than uh, just over time. So we're gonna set this to zero. I wanna move this to something like 12. Okay, next, we're gonna go to the shape and we're gonna choose a sphere. Because our baby bird is small, we want the radius of the sphere to be small. So we can go over here and, and oh, we can go over here and picture it just as you can see. And this is the size, but we're gonna make it small because we have a small uh, object. Our baby bird's a little small, so we're gonna hit one. Something like this. And then we're gonna set the radius thickness to zero. And we're gonna go to color over lifetime, hit that up. And what we want is we want a trail of, of our baby bird, but we want it to kind of fade into transparency as the lifetime continues. So why don't we hit this color here? Well, before we do that, let's go to our model. Let's look at this purple. Okay, it's a kind of like a light purple. So let's go back to the trail. Let's hit here. And why don't we choose a light purple, something like this. Okay, great. Oh, actually, this is wrong. This is the start color. I messed up. So why don't we set this back to white and we're going to go to the color of a lifetime and we're going to click on that and we're going to hit this color and we're going to make this a bit of a purple, something light like that. And as you can see here, it's fading into white, but we want it to actually just fade into uh, transparency. So we're going to hit this, this marker at the top. And we're going to move that alpha all the way down. Okay, hit save just to make sure we don't lose our progress. So now when we move this, we're gonna start seeing a bit of a trail, but it's kind of hard to see right now. It's gonna become clearer in a bit. So why don't we go down to size over lifetime and let's hit that and let's invert it. 
size one here is means maximum size, but we want it to actually get smaller over time. So we're gonna move this down here and we're gonna have this curve do a gradual decrease towards its smallest possible size. So over its lifetime, it's going to decrease in size, which is what we want to kind of make that trailing effect stand out. Then we're gonna go down to the render and we are going to keep everything as is, I believe. Yep, I think there's nothing to change here. Uh, so let's reset this to zero. Zero, zero, zero. Uh, let's focus it up again. And we're gonna wanna add this to our character. Uh, right now we don't see anything, which is a little odd because I feel like we should. We might have to change this to world actually. Let's see what that changes. Anything. There we go. Okay, so now we start seeing this, this trail. which is looking pretty good. Uh, right now the computer is a little slow. Okay, so now we're gonna wanna add this to our baby bird. So let's drag our baby bird. Oh, actually no, this is the model. We want the prefab, so let's go get the prefab. Let's drag this up. We're gonna wanna parent uh, the baby trail to the baby bird. So let's reset this again to zero because it's gonna be in the local axis of, our, of its parent. I'm going to move this and drag it into the baby bird. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to delete this baby bird because we don't need it anymore since we're creating a new one. And now uh, we should see a bit of a trail when we... Um... Oh, of course. So we have to deactivate this. Uh, when we see this error, it says here that mom bird or baby bird has not been assigned and it's because we have not assigned it here. But we just have to deactivate this because we don't care about this baby bird. We care about the prefab that we instantiate. So let's hit play. And let's send them. And then let's see what happens. Oh, and of course, <laughs> always happens to me. Uh, we actually have to uh, replace the prefab anywhere it exists. Um, <laughs> let's launch this one more time. Okay, so let's shoot a mama bird out and let's now shoot a baby bird. And now we see a trail of our baby birds. Doesn't that look super cute? Okay, great. So now that's uh, our baby bird prefab. So now let's make a trail for mama bird. Let's hit save. And the mama bird trail is gonna be quite similar to the baby bird, so we can actually just duplicate this. Let's actually bring this over here. And then just call this mama bird trail. What we're gonna have to do here is actually just change a couple of things. We're gonna wanna change this lifetime probably to something smaller. We do want uh, the particles to kind of be affected a little bit by gravity, it, just so it gives a different effect from what we saw with the uh, baby bird, which looks like a perfect trail. We kind of want the particles to kind of just fall a little bit due to gravity. The emission, we're actually gonna want to do this over time. We don't want to depend on distance, so we can just set this to zero and move this to some ridiculous value like, I don't know, 40 or 50. Now the magic actually happens in the shape. So in the shape, we're actually going to switch this to Donut. And we're going to want to zoom in and let's actually make this gizmo smaller again. And as you can see here, the bigger we make this radius, the bigger the Donut becomes. Again, because we have a small uh, set of of, um, of objects, our mama bird and our baby bird are actually just small little little creatures. Our mama bird is actually of a 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 scaled from the import of our Blender file. So maybe for the particle system, we want to do a radius of something like... Um, so actually, why don't we just throw this in here? And it's just parented already. And we can actually just tell right here the radius that we want. So let's go down to the radius and let's pick something like 0.5. No, too big, 0.3. Uh, that kind of looks right. And then the radius here, maybe 0.1. And thickness, maybe just one. And the last thing we want to do is actually, <laughs> we just want to like bring this uh, 
down a little bit so it trails from um, the mama bird. Let's hit play so we can start visualizing uh, what's going on. And we can see here that it's just trickling down. We don't want that. What we want to do is we want to create like a sort of swirling motion. And so to do that, we have to go into the donut and we have to hit the arc mode to be loop, not random. And we can set the speed to something a little bit slower because um, that is a little bit too fast for my taste. And similarly to what we did with the baby bird, we want to change the color. So since we have the model right here, we might as well just grab this and we can have this little uh, eyedropper tool and click on one of these. Um, maybe something happier than something maybe here. Um, it's a little bit too light, so let's do something like this a little, little redder. Um, actually, at that. Okay. And then we might want to add a little bit of noise just to make this a little bit less uniform so we can hit this and we can lower the strength a little bit to maybe something like 0.1. So just make sure everything's uh, uh, looking good. Let's go down to render and this looks good. We do want to make this a little thicker. So what we might want to do is go size of a lifetime. Let's go on this curve and let's kind of accentuate this a little bit more. Something like this maybe. A little bit of a network curve. And the last thing we're going to want to do is have this start size be 1. So now we have something nice and thick, maybe a little bit less thick. A little less obnoxious, something like this. And that looks good. So why don't we actually have like a deeper uh, red. Let's go here and let's choose a deeper I'm going to kind of match. So. Okay, let's hit save. Let's go back to the prefabs. And now we have our mama bird. Let's make sure that the uh, axis is set to the zeros, but we moved it down a little bit. Why don't we move it down just a little bit more. It looks a little bit more natural. Uh, actually, maybe it's better if it's like from here. Okay, great. Maybe we actually want to do two of these. Why not? And then change the color uh, and then change the direction. So let's go to the duplicate and let's go to shape. And let's maybe do negative 0.5. Let's be, so it goes the other way around. And let's go to the color of a lifetime and then let's set this to something like. A little bit of a purple, a really light purple, something like that. Because now we have two different particles here, and we now we have a new prefab. So why don't we just take this down here? And uh, actually, before we do that, let's delete this prefab. We don't need it anymore. We created a new one, and let's just drag this down over here and call that Mama Bird. But this time, let's not forget, <laughs> and let's uh, reattach what's necessary. And now we can just deactivate that from the editor and let's play our scene. So let's go over here and then let's start brushing these down. That looks pretty cool. They actually seem to be colliding a little bit too much. But let's see what the baby bird looks like. Uh, that looks really cool. And now we have different. Okay, before we move on to further developments, let's fix up our uh, mama bird trail. The two trails are colliding a little bit too much, so something that we can do that's just going to be a quick fix is to reduce the size of the second trail. This is the purple trail. Another thing that we probably want to fix 
is so let's delete this since we already like created uh, the bird here let's up upload this baby bird just to make sure that uh, we're working with the right prefab and let's uh, go to the baby bird trail and one last thing is if you remember when we shot out the baby bird the trail started to be less effective over time so i think that the reason is we were using this right over distance but i think what might be better is if we just use it right over time so let's just shift this to like a big number like 40 and that should work better so let's delete these two prefabs since we've made uh, new ones in the editor uh, we don't need this anymore and why don't we just drag these down here and now we go into the content manager and re create these references oh and but we want to have this be active so we're going to go to mama bird and have this active okay so now we can deactivate these guys and everything should work as planned. So let's hit save and let's hit this play button. So now our particle systems are a little bit more diverse for Mama Bird. And now when we shoot our baby trails, the trails don't dissipate like they did before and they actually just stay slightly more consistent over time. And we want that so we can see the trails consistently. Okay, great. I think we're good in terms of particle embellishments and we have our particle system which will be on and that's going to add a little bit more interest to our scene because our baby birds and mama birds are going to have to go through that fog in the real space okay so now the last thing we want to do is add reflections to the mama bird glasses so the next thing we're going to do is we want to make sure that we try to increase immersion as much as possible so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, look into one of our models and we're actually going to change the material of our model to uh, have the goggles be metallic and be more reflective. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to bring in our, 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 our uh, actually we're not going to do a model, we're actually going to do it on the prefab. So we're going to let's bring our prefab back up here. Uh, let's delete this old one. Uh, we don't need it. And actually just for simplicity's sake, let's remove this one because it's going to complicate things. Okay, so now we have our, our prefab here and we want to change this goggle material, these metal cyberpunk glasses into something a little bit more reflective. I could have done this in Blender, but we're going to do it now. So let's go here, let's create a new material. And we're going to call this goggles. And we're going to change the color to more of a gray. We're going to raise the metallic all the way up. And we can start seeing here, uh, if we that it starts getting a little bit more reflective. So let's move the smoothness just around here. That's probably good. And we're just gonna raise this up a little bit because we do want it to be a bit shiny and not too dark. So maybe just, just all the way up. Okay, great, let's hit save. Uh, now let's go back to our prefabs. Uh, let's delete this prefab and uh, bring a new one in. And we'll go back into, oops into our content manager and make sure that we relink that reference. Next, what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna, you know, make sure that we deactivate this. Actually, why don't we just delete these two guys? Okay, next we're gonna create an empty object and we're gonna call this reflection probe. We're gonna add this component, environment probe. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our session origin and we're gonna add in environment probe manager we're going to turn this reflection probe into a prefab so we can just drag it onto our prefab folder uh, we can go ahead and delete it and we're next going to go into the content man oh i lied into the session origin and just drag this reflection probe so what's going to happen is that it's going to use the camera of our phone to try to map on reflections onto any metallic surface and right now the metallic surface that we have is the goggles of our prefab okay great so let's make sure to activate uh, this fog system. Uh, so when we hit play, let's make sure that everything's working properly. Oh, we messed up on one very important thing. We forgot to add the actual uh, material there. We can't, it's not enough to just create it. We have to actually apply it. So let's apply it by dragging the material onto the goggles. And now we can go back to our prefabs and delete this prefab and add this one right here. Go back to the content manager and relink. Okay, now we should be good to go. We can delete this. And now we have a clean 
editing scene and we have everything good to go. Let's try this out. Hopefully everything works and nothing breaks. All right, let's, there we go. Now we have nice reflective material and we have our baby birds following the, oops, the mama birds. Okay, great. But now we have to deploy it on the phone. So just to re recap, what we've been able to do thus far is we've been able to create a mama bird, a baby bird with all the attributes we wanted to have. We have trails for them created by particle systems. We also have a fog particle system in the scene to kind of add a little bit more ambience into our real world scene. We've also added reflections to the uh, goggles so that uh, it kind of adds a little bit more immersion as if the objects were actually in the real space. So now all we have to do is uh, go ahead and try to deploy this baby onto the phone and hopefully everything works out. Dope, dope, dope. So since we're going to be deploying to the phone uh, this uh, final game, we don't really need the point cloud or the default plane. So we can just go ahead and deactivate these. Uh, let's make sure that we don't need them here as well. Oh, actually, no, we want this one, but we don't want this one. There we go. These two, AR Plane Manager and AR Cloud Manager. We don't need them. We can disconnect them here as well. So now we can save the project and we can go to Build Settings. And we're already at iOS. We've already checked on the settings before, so all we have to do is hit Build. But because <laughs> I like to double check things, why don't we just hit Play to make sure that everything's working? Uh, hopefully there are no errors, otherwise that would suck. Amazing. Perfect. Amazing. All right. I think that uh, we're good to go. All right. Now that there are no errors, the console is clean. Uh, except the debug logs that we left there, but that's okay. We don't need to fix that. <laughs> Let's just build this guy. All right, uh, let's go to build. Where do you have, uh, let's want to make a new folder. Let's just make this a clean build. Oh crap, there we go. Oh my God, I hate when this happens. Move the trash. There we go. V2, let's make a full on clean build. Okay, let's double click here. Let's open up this Xcode project and do not forget to connect your phone. So now I have to find the USB cable. Okay, I've got my phone connected. Sometimes the USB connection doesn't work. I don't know if it's because I have a 14.2 operating system or it's the old Mac. I really don't know. <laughs> I always have had issues connecting iPhones to computers. All right. So now we can go into Unity iPhone. We go to signing in capabilities. We enable automatic. We sign into our Apple ID. We go back to general and we go ahead and build. I guess we could have changed the version there, but. Okay, here we go. Go. Yay, it installed. So we're okay. All right. Okay, here we go. Boom. Oh, look at that. Look at the reflections. Look at that. Let's send another one. Let's send another one. Let's send another one. Now let's switch it to... Oh, wow. Look at that. So I don't really notice the fog too much, but I think that's okay. Now look at all those. They're all just going to one mama bird or another. Oh, I see the fog. There it is. So it, it adds a little bit of like a more interesting environment. Honestly, I think we could fix that up a bit, make it a little bit more visible uh, and maybe improve the speed so it doesn't look so, uh, I guess, artsy. But actually, you know what? I, I like it. I like it. And so now, so that we can, ah! We can check it out closer up. There's our their baby birds. We're launching them into the ether. We're switching to mama bird. We're sending a bunch of mama birds into the sky. And there we go. We have our full on 
world of mama birds, baby birds, just living their best life. That's cool. Awesome. Well, I think that's a wrap. I think that, you know, we've, we've been able to put together a game, a simple game, didn't have that many lines of code, but it turned out pretty cool. We got reflections on our mama bird, we got our baby birds following any random mama bird, depending on how many mama birds there are in the scene. Uh, we have, we disabled the point cloud and the plane manager stuff so that it doesn't you know, clutter up the scene. And we learned a little bit of coding. Uh, we learned a little bit about design. You know what? I think that I think this is good. I think we did a good job. So, uh, email. I think we're good. Uh, hell yeah. We freaking did it! You've made your first augmented reality app. You've deployed it to the phone, and you basically just learned the building blocks for making any sort of app that you want to make. You know how to design stuff, you know how to model stuff, you know how to code basic things. I'll probably make more videos, I'll definitely make more videos on like how to code more complicated things, but at least for now, you have the building blocks to make your own app, your own thing, your own creation. Not just this little, little thing that we made. You'll be on your own. I mean, I'll make more so that you don't have to be on your own, but it's, you have the basics. You have the basics to do whatever you want. So, uh, if you liked what this video series has been, or this video particularly, make sure to comment, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe if you want to. If not, that's okay. I won't take it personally, but why not, right? Well, what is a little click on the button gonna do? No, it's not a big deal. You don't, you don't have to. You don't have to if you don't want to. But uh, anyways, yeah, uh, I'm excited to share more things. I'm gonna be doing more uh, tutorials, probably stuff related to the ethics of this new technology. Well, not new technology, but the future of what the you know what the future's gonna hold. It's gonna be quite digital. So, uh, what are the ethics of that? And uh, it's an interesting topic that is worth exploring. And so, uh, make sure to subscribe if you wanna hear more about that. Uh, and I'm so excited for all the stuff that you're going to build uh, and all the future stuff that we will build together. Uh, and yeah, uh, I'll see you in the next one.